out there just doing a uh, bit of a review actually more of a test than a review of the SteriPen Ultra as many of you may know we're planning a holiday uh, over to Asia end of the year and we're looking at a way of having to avoid bottled water all of the time or even being able to sterilize water that's coming out of the taps in some of the hotels that we're staying in so we decided to give the uh, SteriPen Ultra a go uh, I've already opened it, charged it up, I'm not going to do an unboxing, that's something that if you're interested in there's lots of YouTube clips out there. This is the uh, the SteriPen, how it comes out of the box, as I said, got it all charged up there. Uh, and this is a really simple uh, little device, uh, it charges via USB and uh, basically it's just a UV light. Um, you can set it to uh, sterilise either 500 mils or a litre. Uh, just with the click of the button, globe in here lights up and you stir it through the liquid that you're sterilising. So uh, I've done a little bit of a test, um, so why don't I just uh, walk you through uh, what we did. Alright, so what we've done, uh, I've enlisted my friend Deb to help out. Uh, we can't show you Deb's face on TV because she's a dentist. That's an oral B joke for all Australians out there who remember the old commercial. Basically what Deb and I have done, we've got uh, two beakers with 350 mils of sterilised water and that water's gone through an autoclave, been totally sterilised and what we're adding to each of those is we're adding one drop of very concentrated uh, E. coli solution. So Deb's been growing some E. coli for me, we've put just one drop in each of those beakers. She's also prepared a couple of uh, agar plates. So we've got one that we're going to uh, test with uh, the water after it's gone through with the SteriPen and the other groups. Um, as you can see there, Deb is basically just um, uh, streaking uh, using a sterile swab uh, that untreated solution onto an agar plate. Uh, while Deb's doing that, I'm goofing off and trying to get the SteriPen going. Um, little tip, always read the instructions. I just turned it on and then thought I could put it to 500 mils. I should have really read that uh, I need to double click the button to get it onto 500 mils. So uh, I gave a little bit of a stir there, not um, much uh, happening because I pulled it out uh, of the water and it switched off. So you've got to have the little probes. Um, so that's these uh, little probes, you can see there's two of them there. They've got to be submerged at all times. So basically I've got that going again now and giving it a stir. Unfortunately I am sterilising it on the one litre setting, so probably sterilising it for a bit long. But basically just stirring the, um, the SteriPen through the solution. You can see the UV light there, uh, very bright um, as it's uh, stirring through that solution. All right, so you can see there as I'm stirring there's a little counter that's counting down the last uh, 15 seconds or so. Uh, and then what should happen, it should automatically uh, turn off and give me a nice little smiley face to tell me that I've now sterilised that water. My friend Deb there, she's just got me some disinfectant so that we can actually uh, just disinfect the probe. Uh, so we'll give that a bit of a shake off and uh, I'll pop that into the disinfectant and while I'm doing that, Deb's going to use another sterile swab and with that swab she's going to uh, treat or streak our second uh, agar plate. So she gives that a bit of a mix up there and uh, streaks the plate, uh, trying to give it a nice even coverage. You can see why I enlisted my friend Deb, she's an absolute expert. And so now we're going to go and put um, these two agar plates into the um, oven. The oven is going to be set at 28 degrees. So we've left those agar plates there for uh, probably about um, somewhere around just over 48 hours we've left them in there. And so you can see here the first agar plate we're looking at is the untreated, the second one is the treated. You can see a huge difference there in the amount of E. coli that has grown. Now there are a couple of white specks that you can see on the treated. Uh, I'm not too sure whether that is a little bit of E. coli that survived or whether that's just some contamination from the air. Probably should have done a third agar plate in retrospect. 
uh, that we just opened up to the air just to see if anything grew. Um, obviously we haven't kept those agar plates uh, airtight um, and so there could be some contamination from the air but I think you'll agree there is a huge huge difference in terms of what grew on those two agar plates. So after that little test I could definitely say that the uh, SteriPen Ultra does work definitely reduced dramatically the amount of E. coli that had grown um, in the treated water as compared to the untreated. Uh, so hopefully when we take this little baby on our Asian uh, trip, uh, it'll look after us and keep us nice and healthy. Until next time.